Uh, you yeah, know, I'm just on the Ultimate Custom Night page for Steam. I'm gonna go through the community stuff. You know, just being normal. This has nothing to do with math. Isn't it under the FNAF 6? Pretty Fez for his Pizzeria Simulator. I'm pretty sure it's all under FNAF 6. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is all under FNAF 6. Wait, wait, it might be under FNAF. It might be under. Wait, what? Wait a minute, don't mind me, I'm looking for the... I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just going through Steam. It's like a normal person. It's my custom light. Steam community. What the heck? New stuff for Scott. It's new stuff from Scott. November. That's that's today. The heck. Upcoming projects mega thread. Okay. I'm promising an up. Okay. Hey everyone. I've been promising an update. So here it is. There are a lot of great things being worked on. The most of them will arrive in 2019. Darn it. Including new ports, new games, and new books. The movie progress is still slow, but that's okay, because I want to get it right. Everything else, however, is moving full speed ahead. Movie news. Five Nights at Freddy's first movie. New script being worked on. Okay, guys. I had a script written. Jason liked it, and Chris Columbus liked it, too. But I tossed it. I, I had a different idea for it. W one that I liked better. I take responsibility for this delay. It's my fault. It's been a ch it's been a real challenge for everyone, including myself, to come up with a good screenplay for this. But I'm determined to find the right story. I'm sticking to what I've always said: either the the right movie, either the right movie gets made, or no movie gets made. I hate delaying a project that's already that's already seen so many delays. But, I have to go with my instincts on what I think will be exciting and interesting, and what I think the fan base will really want to see. If that means that I have to start over ten more times, then that's what I'm going to do. The good thing is that each attempt gets better and better, in my opinion. So, despite the delays, it's going in the right direction. One thing the most of you might want to know is that the movie and sequels, I hope, will take place in the FNAF, in the universe of FNAF 1 through 3 only. The games after FNAF 3 will not exist in the movie universe, like it or hate it. I felt that that this was the best por por portion, portion of the storyline to really focus on it. Game projects, FNAF VR, 40% complete. I can't play this because I don't have a VR set. Re. This game is looking terrific. I'm working with a company called Steel Wool to, be, to bring the VR game to life. And all these guys, and these guys are making some crazy stuff. If you liked repairing Funtime Freddy up close in Sister Location, just wait till, till you do something like that in VR. Up close, personal with with these huge animatronics that are just they're just one mistake away from jump from jumping at you. I refused to test it first time and had my son Brayden test it, poor Brayden. Instead, the repair sec section is one small part of the game. And for the first time you're gonna see all you're gonna get to see you're gonna all get to see an actual stage performance from the classic band. Okay, guys, this is what I've always wanted to see because a lot of people keep like making these nice animations. I really like these animations of what they think a FNAF, a Freddy Fazbear's Pizza show would look like. They're all extremely good. 
I mean, I, I really like the ones from, I don't know his name, um, like, Junior something. He makes really, really good animations. And also, um, shout out to, I don't know how to say his name, and I'm not even gonna try, but he, but I, I, but he makes really good. He makes, like, he made one with Sister Location, and it was so good. It was amazing. So I hope it's something like that. Um, anyway. FNAF AR. FNAF AR. 10% complete. The AR game is well underway. And while I'm... Okay, I'm gonna put this down. Um, look at... Look at something. Okay, camera, look at that. Um... Wait a minute. They are, the AR game is well underway, and while I'm not going to reveal any gameplay details yet, I still, I will say that the impending doom of something hunting you will keep you up at night. Okay guys, here comes the big thing. This is the huge thing. Five Nights at Freddy's Into Madness, 0% complete. This is the next game that I want to work on myself someday. A compilation of several previous gameplay ideas in the same vein as Update 2. Just a free game for the fan base. There isn't a guarantee that that will happen. Oh, depressing. That will happen though. I'm still recovering from the first four years. Yeah, I guess Scott's right. Console ports 20% complete. I'm working closely with the people at Click Team to create new and improved HD ports for of all of the original games. They will be released on Android, iOS, Switch, Xbox. Yes, I have an Xbox. <laughs> Expect something like that one day, guys. And PlayStation. A A A. The Ah the um ah, the A A A game. Zero percent complete. There's a big, big This is a big game. Big. It's all in caps. This is all real gu by guys, by the way. Okay, I'm just going to finish reading it there. I'm done for that. The comments are awesome. This, sound this all sounds cool, but where's Endless Tycoon mode, Scott? I'm just kidding about the tycoon thing. He, like, Scott did say, like, right after FNAF 6 came out, he was mentioning something about, um, he was mentioning, wait a minute, why is there people that have Stan Lee, Rip Stan Lee in their names? Guys, did Stan Lee die? Let me see, I, I want to know. Stan, Stan Lee, Stan Lee death. American book writer. When did he die? He died? Wait, when did he die? I didn't know about this. Oh, God. Um. Guys, we're gonna have to see this. I, I know this is not anything that has to do with, um, FNAF. Marvel Legend Stanley has passed away. Oh, God. Let's see what happened. Stan Lee, known for... Okay, I'm, I'm not going to read this. He was 95. He has died. He was 95, guys. Okay, it was going to happen eventually. Sooner or later, it was going to happen. Um. But when did he die? Did he die like... Wait. Earlier this year, Marvel Legend... Revealed that he had been battling. Oh, he had a disease. When did he die? That was in early February. In 2017. Okay. No, he didn't die last year. Um. I know that what his career was. But how did. 
when did he die? Okay, guys, I want to see when he died. When? Calling caps. When did Stanley die? Did Stanley die? Stanley die? When did Stanley die? Tell me. December 28th. Wait a minute. When did Stanley die? Oh, guys, Stanley died today. Stanley died today. This day, on this very day that this video is coming out, he died. Oh. Well, I have nothing to say about that. He died today. Who knows when he died? He might be, he might have died five seconds ago, guys. Five seconds ago. He might have died five seconds ago. Who knows? Who freaking knows when he died? He could have died. I don't know. He died from a disease. He died today. That's all I can say. See you guys next time.